Hey, welcome back to the shop. My name's John, and today we are working on a DPF filter. A local farmer brought it in, uh, doesn't want it in his sprayer anymore, so I'm gonna help him out. I don't ask any questions about uh, why we're doing this, uh, but I'm sure there's reasons. Uh, I think he listed two reasons specifically. Uh, one, I didn't ask, and second, I'm not sure. So uh, what we're going to do is build a pipe that looks just like this with the flanges on the end, but it's basically a delete pipe and uh, it will sit in place of this DPF. So what we need to do is take our big five inch bend here and uh, we will likely have to lengthen one end and shorten one end. So you might notice these flanges look a little bit different from other flanges we've used before. These aren't bolt together and these aren't V-band. These are called Marmon flanges and they work like this. So on the pipe end, it's flared out with a die, just like that. And this has a matching bevel to it or angle and that seats just like that. There's often, uh, in this application anyway, there's a gasket that goes in between, which is kind of nice. Gives you a little bit more uh, sealing power there. And how that actually seals up is this clamp goes around it and because it's a uh, v-shaped it brings them together and uh, it actually does a pretty good job sealing in this situation typically i've been hard on these flanges in the car world because they they really don't work well in performance applications in my experience but uh, it seems to be working pretty well here so i cut this six and a half inch solid round bar in half on the bandsaw i chucked it up in the lathe I turned the correct outside diameter and then drilled a hole in the center and bored it out to the correct inside diameter. I used a compound rest to set the correct angle of the bevel and I beveled one side of the flange, parted it off, machined the second flange from the same stock and then I was able to pop them back in the lathe and flip them around, put the opposing bevel on and back cut them and bore them for five inch instead of 4.8 inch on the correct side. So now that you know where these flanges came from, we've got all the supplies here to get this job done. So let's get into it. And we know our total height here. Seven, two, five. Definitely coming up short here. So the long leg of our bend is coming up two inches short for what we need. So instead of just adding two inches, I'm gonna cut off a more substantial piece. I'll replace that plus the two inches in just a piece of straight pipe that I'll cut out. We'll weld that together. And then this other leg is uh, too long, so we'll shorten that and then we'll be sitting pretty, ready to put the flanges on. Oh, and in case you're wondering what a diesel particulate filter is, it's what catches all the black soot that comes out of a diesel engine's exhaust. They're pretty interesting pieces of equipment. I recommend going and watching a video on them. In general, they are a good thing. I mean, it is kind of nice not seeing every single semi truck rolling coal down the highway. You may have already deduced by now that it would be illegal to remove such a device. I personally would never do such things, and that's why I don't. I don't even converse with people who consider taking on such grievous actions for themselves. Plus, you'd have to be some kind of idiot anyways to remove one of these because all you'd really see in the end is significantly reduced fuel and maintenance costs. I'm very appreciative of farmers and I believe that they do not get the credit that they deserve for keeping the globe fed, like the entire globe. When a fed up farmer walks into my shop, I always remember the words of a previous employer who was a great man. He said, Johnny, no matter how busy the shop is, we always gotta take care of the farmer.
Okay, so now that we're getting ready to weld this up, I do want to back purge these, so we're going to put gas onto the inside of the pipe, just like we have in the past. Uh, I don't have many jigs and fixtures for doing five inch pipe, so I've got this thing, this fits in nicely. All we need to do is uh, modify it and put this pipe nipple in there. So we're going to run over to the lathe and uh, we'll modify this to be a purge plug. Okay, so we've got the main body wrapped up. It's fitting well, just got it lined up against the DPF here and it looks great. On the original DPF, there's this piece of tubing that's slightly proud of the flange here. And that is to hold the gasket on while you're assembling it. I don't know where this is assembled, but I assume it's probably not a fun place to get to. So I'm gonna put that feature back in so this is easy to assemble. Now the thing is, is that this is 4.8 inch pipe. So what I'm going to do is just cut a piece of pipe of five inch. I'm going to slit it and basically just make it a little smaller. And then I'm going to pop it inside of here and tack weld it in a few spots. And that should do a great job holding that gasket in place. Okay, we are all wrapped up here. We've got a tube that has a flange on each end now. And it resembles this other uh, larger tube that has flanges on each end of it. So that's fantastic. I think our customer will be very pleased with uh, whatever it is he wants to do with this item. I was happy to do this job on camera because uh, this really does help represent what this shop does. I love helping farmers, helping anybody who needs a fix or needs somebody to pay close attention to their problem and give them a solution for it. So this is just one of the things that we do here. And if you enjoyed it, I'd love if you would uh, thumbs up the video, leave a comment, tell me what you liked. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.